Hello everyone, welcome back to Fulgrim Gaming's Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, and as you can see, we yep. have grinded. If you notice right there, our top HP uh, isn't 900 and something anymore, we're all over 1000, we're all level 30, so kudos and to- And let's get right into a fight! Kudos <laughs> to Kyle for grinding for us. Yep, and we had over 80,000 gil if you didn't see that, but yeah, let's see how easily, easily Dang. we can take out Look at this these. intimidating rhino tank! Look, Cloud's doing over 400 <laughs> damage. Blows. What are you talking about, the rhino? Yes! Look, even Aeris is doing some insane amount of damage. Remember last time this was like a freaking boss fight right here? Yeah, did we even get into a fight with one of these? Or I, I think we might have, like, just in practice, but I don't know oh. if we have on camera. Look. There, he's dead. That's ridiculous. Now look, that's how easy the game's gonna be from now on. Where I could've you, kept grinding, but... Where did you actually grind? Like, which area? I grinded in the that tunnel thing we talked about in Juno. Oh, there you go, yeah. So that's a good, a really good spot for you guys to grind, uh, <laughs> as you can see, it freaking counts. Alright, so what are these enemies gonna be? I, just, I feel like- Oh, is it another one? It's another Rhino tank! Alright, All right, kid, you wanna get DBs? Here. Just throw Beta at him. Yep, I was just about to Beta is so that. awesome, oh my. I might have to go back there- And floor the Midgar Zolem? No, well, that too, <laughs> yeah. but I was gonna say, I might have to go back there and show you my technique for grinding, cause it is pretty good. I mean, this took maybe an hour to get this high. Yeah, that's pretty good. If you guys don't remember, we were at like 21. I think we were like level 21 last episode. Now he's all the way up to 30, so that's pretty good. All right, so let's keep going here. When we go back for L4 Suicide Choco Buckle, I might just stop by Junon and show you what I did. All right, but what we're going to do now, actually, is we're going to pick up a little bit of materia, right? Well, we can go get... Oop, fell. All right. Anyway, yeah, like we were saying, there's a material over here called yep. the Death Blow material, which Joe doesn't apparently like. No, because all it does is give you a critical hit, but it's a hit or miss. Obviously, I know you can't—they can't give you a critical hit every time, but okay. What it actually does is it lowers the, your attack, your chance of hitting by one third. No, it, but yeah, something like that. One yeah. third of whatever your like accuracy is. That's what it puts your accuracy to. But it also increases it every time you hit. It's a critical hit. So this goes awesome with a character within a, a weapon that does 255% uh, accuracy. Would this character happen to have a, a preference for guns? Yes. All so right, I get it. <laughs> basically, what's going to happen is every you're going to have an 85% hit rate with that weapon, but it's always going to be a yeah, critical so hit. always a critical hit. Yeah, see, it's good with him, but for the rest of them, like Cloud, no. it's called double cut. And by the way, there was a white uh, megaphone there for yeah, Kate Sith. Yeah, Kate Sith, too bad he'll never get used. <laughs> nope. Uh, by the, yeah, I wouldn't use Deathblow with any other character other than the one that we're talking about. Yeah, and Kate Sith, all he was good for was to manipulate, I'm sorry. I would uh, not use this X potion, kind of save it, because there's a boss coming up that you can kill in one hit with it. Dang, this is actually the inn in here, isn't it? Forget yeah, we're it, we're not, not going to sleep an here, because you know what happens when we sleep in inns. Yeah, the, we always miss the game will start breaking, characters will start like disappearing into thin air, it's not worth it. Alright, and everybody in here, I mean, is just telling the same story. What happened is basically the reactor blew up and everyone died, so yep, we that's don't really basically, need to... basically it. Yeah, we don't really need to talk to everybody and hear their story, like it's they an, all uh, want to tell us. An accessory and materia shop, I'm pretty sure. They've yep, got uh, um, time in here, but we don't really need it because we've got big guard. Yeah, we don't really... I'm not going to buy any of this, even though we could. Look how much gear we have. Yeah, compared to what our paltry little 10 grand last time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> none of that stuff is really worth it, but you can actually go upstairs. There's a weapon shop guy up here, right? Yep, the weapon shop. Why is this guy up here? How would you ever know? I have no idea. But there's really nothing that we need to buy. Like, we don't have any hard age. We've we already got Atomic Love. Scissors. Yeah, we have the atomic scissors, we have a striking staff, might as well buy, you know, just in case. Alright, All right. there we go. So what, did, I just you feel just, like, did you just what? buy a weapon for Red 13 there? Yeah, I just bought some, That's uh, good. That's, yeah, we actually are going to be using Red 13 coming up, maybe in this episode even. Yeah, but what we're going to do now is what, finish up all the little houses here. These people are just all scared. <laughs> yep, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's just a regular item shop, I'm pretty sure. Item shop. But, oh, that's another thing. I bought 35 Phoenix down. Yeah, <laughs> because apparently we go down like standard, but we shouldn't anymore because now we've got decent amount of HP. All right, so now that we're stocked on items and everything, let's go in here. A little cutscene. I'll be the old parents and you can be Cloud, I guess. You a traveler? Hey, wait, that glare in your eye. You been soldier? Want me to be the other guy? Sure. Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. It's been close to 10 years since he left for the city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He left saying he's going to join Soldier. You ever hear of a, a Zack in Soldier? Hmm, I don't know. Zack? Young lady, do you know him? I remember he wrote us six or seven years ago saying that he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? 
Oh, Cloud's looking. I can't. Yeah, Cloud's getting jealous. Yeah, I know, right? And she's just going to leave. She doesn't want anything to do with that situation. Man, those old people. Eris, they kind of put her on the spot there. Dang. Yeah, really. All right, so Zack is actually, what, a character in another Final Fantasy game? Yeah, he's actually uh, later in the Final Fantasy continuity, I guess you can say. All right. Eris. What a shock. I didn't know Zack was from this town. You know him? Didn't I tell you? He was my first love. <laughs> Zack, soldier, first class, same as Cloud. Strange. There aren't that many who make first class, but I've never heard of him. That's all right. It's all in the past now. I was just worried because I heard he's been missing. Missing? I think it was five years ago. He went on a job and never came back. He loved women. A real ladies' man. He probably found somebody else. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? Guess, yeah, uh, he does jealous. appear jealous, thing. Are you jealous? Hmm? Are you, Cloud? I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Let's go. Man, he was getting right, pissed, so, today. <laughs> pretty much that's all there is to Gengaga. <laughs> that is pretty, uh, pretty cool coincidence there. Another guy in first class. I mean, that's what drew her to Cloud in the first place. Who knows? Yeah, but I wonder why. <laughs> all right, so now that we're done there. Basically, why does I wonder why Eris doesn't or Cloud doesn't know who Zack is if it's such a prestigious club? I know he did say there wasn't that many in it, so I'm surprised think he would know. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna Oops. head towards Cosmo Canyon, correct? Yep, and I'm pushing buttons here. Yeah, oh, I, I think I just it. went back. Oh my god! Right, menus, <laughs> buttons. I don't know what's going on. Dang. <laughs> Get in the thing, Cloud. Thank you. All right. Woo. But along the way to Cosmo Canyon, we're gonna pick up another enemy skill called the Frog Song. Yep, and it's in this little grassy, foresty area over Hopefully here. Hopefully we'll get lucky for once. Can we manipulate the frog so you could use it? I'm not sure. Well, we can try it. It's on Ares, but... There he is, all right. Over there. Let's go ahead and take out the... What, what I was have that? no idea. <laughs> but these enemies here are called Touch Me. <laughs> what the... <laughs> What does the frog song actually do? Does it just, like, put you the to sleep? The frog song inflicts, uh, I think, sleep and a frog. Oh, so that's why takes... it'll make you a little frog thing. Yeah, it only takes, what, I think... 5 MP, if I remember correctly. Oh, dang, I don't remember. Let me oh. take out this. Or, I don't want to attack hey. him, obviously, he's going to die. But... Oh, is he using it right now? Yep. Awesome! Oh, it yeah! Oh, dang, it doesn't hit the whole party. Oh, well. Nope. What would have been better is if I actually gave both of the things to, um, Ares. Both of what? Both of the, what am I, the enemy skill materials. Oh, so yeah, would've she would have learned it. both right there. If you use, yeah, oh, you we are freaking so lucky. lucky. Oh my, that's something you rarely see in full-grown guys. Us getting yep. lucky with anything. All right, Barry, right, completely boring. For him. Oh. Wow, he took more than one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, this kid's pretty strong. I think the status ailment frog reminds me of is called Mini in this game. It sucks. Yeah, it kind of yeah. reminds me. It of just that, makes your character mini, and they can only do like one point of attack. It's terrible. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Level up, awesome. All right, so if we get any, in, into any more random fights, probably just going to cut them out, because yeah. we've shown how many already this episode? Like five, four or five. All right, so now what we're going to do is cross a little bridge there, Kind of like how, looks like it's going down. I kind of, yeah, I was just going to say that. Anyway, yeah, I was saying how I like how the, it looks like the sun's going yeah, down Yeah, I was just going to say, I like how the color filter kind of changes for this area. Pretty yeah, cool little thing. Oh, just by the way, dang, did you see that? 666 six, six, Gil? Oh, God, no, I didn't see it. Alright, so over here, if you get... I think it's if you get too far away from this place here, I'm just buggy gonna get out break here. Down. Yeah, the buggy will break down, so I'm not even gonna chance that. The only, like, negative thing that comes from that is you can't go to Fort Condor, and well, who cares? Well, they, yeah, exactly. <laughs> will they repair it for you when you leave the Cosmo Canyon? Yeah, they'll right. repair it for you, but the only thing is you can't go to the Fort Condor fight that is, like, specifically in this time frame right here in the oh, game. Dang, but who gives so, Condor day? Yeah, we'll go back to Fort Condor one day. All right. Oh, dang, he, like, jumped over everybody. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm home. It is I, Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on and say hello to Bugenhagen. Aw, oh, dang. Nanaki. My so accent is going to get worked. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. God. Prepare for right, horrible we'll Jackson. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Nope. Yes. I mean, oh, no. I, I freaking did awesome. no, my lied God. hard. <laughs> no! <laughs> all right, let me take it slow. Calm down. No. There you go. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Woo! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I've always wanted to come- wait, no, I've always wanted to come here. There you go. Mmm, guy, it's full of- it's full I capacity at present, so I'm afraid I can't let you enter. Why did he say, oom, um, god? I don't Why know. is Barrett so pissed he can't come in here? 
They helped me some when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped our Nanaki? Please, come in. Alright, and if you can't tell, Nanaki is Red Thirteen's real name, yep. as Cloud is asking. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Alright, this is getting repetitive. <laughs> My <laughs> god. Alright, now we're in Cosmo Canyon. There's actually a lot of cool places here. We've got some Turtles Paradise flyers yep. coming up. Uh, the first pro Turtles Paradise is over here. I don't think there's anything on this ladder that I'm standing right next to, but uh, I could be wrong. But in here, I think. Upstairs, I believe. I know there's one besides a place called, like, Tiger Lilies or something. There we go. All right, Turtles there's Paradise that one. number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in to Turtles Paradise. All right. I can't wait to get there. Dang, I want to see what I these know. flyers are going to give us. So here's the Shildra Inn. <laughs> Not staying. Nope. Doesn't that sound oddly familiar to Shinra? Yeah, I was just going to say that Shildra, Shinra, what's going on? Elder Booga. Is that so? You brought Nanaki back here? Yeah, thanks. Okay. All right, kid, fine. <laughs> I got a basement. Here, yeah, I'll go in there in a second. I thought maybe you could get some from that guy, but no. Maybe we can uh, steal some items from down here. I thought this was a basement. I guess not, dang. I remember this place, but let me. Think. What the? F well, apparently there's, there's absolutely nothing, nothing here. Down here. <laughs> well, I, I don't remember being like this. I don't even remember going there at all, dang. All right, so let's keep going. Yeah, I was gonna say maybe it was like the Shindra Mansion basement, Costa del Sol. Oh, we yeah. could steal some bull, dang. Maybe. Well, let's go over here. I think there's an item shop up here. There's probably... I don't think there's anything really special, but might as well show it anyway. Yeah, probably have the standard item, material, and weapons scattered around. You can actually go through here. Behind this, the velvet room. rope. Yeah, but uh, not right now. We'll come back to that later. Let's see what this guy has to offer. Probably nothing we haven't seen already. Yep, same old Nope, stuff. nothing. Yeah, I wish there was some place you could buy ether. Yes. Yeah, if he sold an ether, we'd be all over the guy. My God. With all our new money, I'd probably yeah, buy it literally buy the shop. <laughs> all right, so let's go over here. This is this place is mainly story oriented. Yeah. That, by the way, a big fire in the middle is called like the Cosmo Candle or something like that. Yeah. Oh, here's where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon in the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a waste wastrel. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect his planet. My journey ends here. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Coming, Grandpa. Oh, dang. The reason I was snickering hard is because you said something like save the planet. It didn't say anything like that. Oh, yep. Awesome, dang. <laughs> Good timing. Let's take a breather. I got stuff I want to find out, too. All what right. is his... Pro I don't know. He's just weird. He's he never mentioned this place, and apparently he's wanted to come here all along. Yeah, he's like a little kid. He's never mentioned it at all. There's the other the other turtle's paradise should be right in this Yeah, it's right here. Oh, apparently oh. be right in front. There we go. There number, we go. number four. four. Now hiring. Looking for someone who can stand long hours of boredom. For details, contact Pub Turtles Paradise. Awesome. All right. So that's what five total. It's five. Yeah, pretty sure. The one I'm in the Shinra building was so annoying. Oh my god! Remember that? I think we cut out most of the BS that happened. That was Remember? oh man, guys. Yeah, but when we were trying to get that thing, we we were like tapping on the freaking board in there and it wasn't coming up. Yeah, it wasn't coming up at all. So we had to scrap that and start over when we found it. And Any new weapons here we should be worrying about? Uh, well, I guess we could check. Why are, isn't this place kind of peaceful? Why is there a weapon shop? Oop, uh, they gotta protect themselves. I mean, you never know. I guess. All All right. Right. Oh, dang. Butterfly got some new stuff here. That bull up. Let's get that. Wait. Oh, it's normal. I'm probably, I don't really care about material growth, so I'm probably just gonna buy one. Yeah, of because things. we can worry about material growth later on. The silver, what is that? Silver bread. That's a red 13 level. Or weapon, oh. not level. <laughs> yeah, a level. Yeah. All right. Actually, we don't really need to worry about giving items and stuff right now because nobody's in the party. So. All right. Well, let's continue on with the story. We got to go ahead and meet up with Red Thirteen and his grandpa, apparently. Yeah, I know we got to go up there, but I'm not sure. Was there anything back here? In the uh, if you go the other way, I think it's just like a sealed door. Oh, apparently not. Oh, oh Barry, what the? <laughs> f let's talk to. What is he? Doing? <laughs> I don't know. Dang. There was this guy who studied pl planetary life here. He couldn't take things the way they were, so he went to Midgard to form Avalanche. Wanna hear- no. No, we don't give, Barrett. <laughs> I don't really care. But apparently he, uh, will tell you the story of Avalanche there and how it started. Apparently he's a hard fan of Cosmo Canyon, dang. I had no idea. Like, Either he would've did thought I. he would've wanted to come here and mentioned it once or something, but... He hasn't even mentioned it, but we're trying to get up to the big observatory on the top. I'm stuck on a texture there for a second. It reminds me of booty. Oh, don't even. <laughs> yeah, no, there's right, a I know sealed this is, door. Yeah, that is sealed. Yeah. What the f- 
Did you see what that guy said with super glue? Did he? Oh, no, I didn't see it. Dang. He said he, they sealed it with super glue. He said, what did he seal it with? Super glue? Okay, oh, fine. my. <laughs> you got to be kidding, kid. Dang. All right. Which way did we come in? We came this in from way? the stairs, so. Oh, okay. I, there you go. I don't remember exactly where to go in here. I think this oh, is, is a another material shop. shop or something. Yeah, I think so. Apparently, he doesn't give. Dang. <laughs> well, well, you're missing out on good business, buddy. What kind oh, of way is that to there? We can actually talk to him. Oh, I thought he was going to say, screw it, I'm sleeping. Dang. Oh, my. Wow. We got some HP plus. Uh, I'll get one or two of those. I'll yep. put one on each character, you know. That's all you need, and then eventually they'll grow and grow and grow, and uh, you'll get a new get one when you fully master it. Alright, so let's keep going up, maybe? Cool camera <laughs> angle, dang. I can't tell where to go, but okay. Uh, there's no arrows out here, so there must yeah, be. Yeah, so I don't even think you can go that so way. Go I think we probably gotta go up here. Up there, that sounds perfect. This place is kind of like a maze, almost. Like, I'm not sure which... There's so many different ways to go here. Alright, there we go, dang. It's a cool 3D rendered dish over there. You see that? It was spiraling. No, I didn't really see it. No, it Sounds pretty cool. Alright, let's talk to Nanaki. Oh, God, here we go. You can be his granddad. Right. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Boogan. <laughs> <laughs> he is incredible. He knows everything. <laughs> I hear that you looked after Nanaki a bit. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather. I'm 48. <laughs> Nanaki's tribe has incre incredible longevity. <laughs> so you see, his 48 years would be only equivalent to, say, that of a 15 or 16-year-old human. Close enough. Yep. Oh, 15 <laughs> or 16, at least you're trying, dang. He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult. Oh, grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you in the village. <laughs> no, Nanaki, you can't stand on your own yet. Oh, dang. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Ah, <laughs> snatch. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. This guy's deep, dang. He's freaking floating like it's beans. <laughs> oh my. When it's time for this planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? <laughs> it may be tomorrow, or 100 years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. This guy can talk to the planet. I just can't get over how he's levitating. He's like, <laughs> I just really don't... I never understood that. How does he do that? What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. That it looks like a huge, like... Telescope or something? Or, yeah. Reminds me of uh, Majora's Mask. You know that one? Oh, that dang. One? Yeah, I remember that. What was that? Good uh, reference you hear that? there. It sounds like some yells going on in the background or something. Oh, that was a scream from this planet. Don't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. Got a poet. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? <laughs> to save the planet? <laughs> <laughs> was he Santa so Claus or something? Yeah, exactly. God. But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show him. Bugenhagen! Who was that? <laughs> I have no idea, but you can be this guy. Alright. Several odd-looking people have come. Shinra, perhaps? This whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends, too. I'll go get them. Is he referring to our friends? I guess. I thought he was talking about, like, invaders or something. Hey. Yeah, I know. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in my grandfather's machine. Alright, so what it looks like is we have to go form a party. Yeah, I think we have to go down and meet him at that fire now. Yeah, in the fire. I know there's. I got kind of stuck on that one earlier. I think what you have to do is talk to everybody at the campfire and then Red 13. Oh, yeah, or, I remember something weird like oops, that. Wrong way. Up the stairs. Oh, wait. Still wrong way, dude. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this is right. Oh, dang. Oh, I don't know. It shows you what I know, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm just guessing. I knew the other way went out to that, like, dead end area that we went to by yeah, accident. Yeah, it gives you the whole view of the whole place. Which is pretty cool, but I'm, I'm not sure if there's ever a reason to go out there or not. No, there's a there's another view like that in an area we're going to be getting to later that's one of my favorite in the game, I'll point it out for you guys. Wait a minute. <laughs> They're not at the campfire yet. What the f I don't remember what exactly to do. I know we got to obviously form a party, but I'm not sure where the people are at. The guy at the them. gate will tell us? I don't know. Well, maybe he will. Let's talk to him and see. Oh, oh nope. He just Barely said we got to go to this. <laughs> uh, wasn't Barrett in one of the rooms, like one of the random rooms? 
Watch him not be there. Yeah, anymore. exactly. Watch, guys. We're gonna we're gonna use past memory, right, to try to help us out. Watch. That was in here, right? Yeah. No, was it? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay, and well, he's well, there. He's still him. there. What? Oh, I guess oh. they're scattered around the yeah. map. Yeah. Oh, dang, dang. Good memory right there. <laughs> all right, classic all right, party. So, classic party. Did the I other guys go the level at all? Uh, barely. Really I good. mean, they're higher than they were. They're, actually, they're higher than our main party members were before I started grinding. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. But now that we have the group of three together, we have to go up and talk to Bugenhagen again. All right. That's such an awesome name. But I know that. Didn't they call somebody like a Bugen when we were in the bar? I thought um, I, I thought I heard yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. So maybe Bugenhagen is like Elder Bugen. I, I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how old that guy is. Apparently, he's old and wise enough to master the art of levitation. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Dang. All right, now that we have a thing, let's go in here. Yeah, come over over here. The door's unlocked. Come on in. All right, so let's go in here and see what Bugenhagen has to say. It's just like, uh, oh, there we go. Dang, a whole nother room. Oh, I can't move. There we go. Oh, let's go all the way around the room. Yeah, I know, right? Like ring around the rosy dick. <laughs> it looks like you have them all together. But let's begin. I'll be stand there. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be stand here. Okay, they forgot to put them no out. They've got the ING. Oh. oh, he's pushing buttons. Oh, it got dark. Dang, this is beast right here. Like I don't know. I don't even know how to correct that thing. I think I even corrected it wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say. Wait a minute. I'll be stand there. Yeah, forget it. I'm just as beast. <laughs> I'm tired and hungry. I'll guys. be Give standing there, maybe. Anyway, so pretty. It's just like the real thing. Mm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Dang, he's freaking technological. Hey, a shooting star. Oh. Oh, dang! It's gonna collide with the planet and blow everything up. I think that will happen in the game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eventually, but it ain't gonna be a star. Oh yeah, <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, I yep. love how these people. Nobody has faces or noses. I mean, yeah, no they're just straight eyes. My God, yeah, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it is. They, they, I know in Final Fantasy IX they had no problem making actual faces. So no, but in eight, like I think or we talked even, about yeah. it, they put full, you know, proportion to bodies. But seven, for some reason, I mean, Popeye was the theme. Yeah, I guess. Oh my what is God. This, a black hole. Black or hole. Wow, how wonderful. <laughs> yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body just decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their consciousness, their hearts, and their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. So that everyone in the universe comes to this one planet? Apparently, yeah. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge and divide, become a swell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then, the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Man, I'm happy you took that guy's role. That's he talks so much. I'm like gasping for breath. Yeah, my God. He talks so much. <laughs> well, but it sounds like you are made of the planet's energy. Yep, the planet. And that looks like Earth. Shockingly like Earth, I was just going to say. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. I think, oh, who's that? I don't know. It's a guy who just died, and he's about to combust. Oh, I see. Or something, I don't know, into life stream. I think this is just a visual representation of becoming part of the planet's energy. Yeah, I, I, does this planet ever get a name in this game? I think it was called Gaia. I'm not, I don't remember. Is that what it, I think that sounds familiar, but was that Final Fantasy VIII or this game? I don't I'm pretty remember. sure that's what this one is called. If not, then it's just called The Planet. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, it seems <laughs> like there was a name, but I don't remember. It was a pretty cool little representation there. Spirit energy makes all things possible. Trees, birds, humans. Not just living things, but spirit energy makes it possible for planets to be planets. That's pretty cool, I guess. He's got no legs. I can't. I'm distracted. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if that spirit energy were to disappear? Oh, I think he's sucking out the energy from the Dang. planet. Kind of like the, uh, the Mako reactors. That's exactly what's That's happening. That's exactly. He's got one up his sleeve. Oh, exactly, yeah. Look, it's going to crumple and die like it's beans. Oh. oh. So if we don't stop the maker reactors, that's what's going to happen right there. We're done. So pretty much the whole point of this game is to stop the maker reactors. Stop Shinra, basically. Stop Shinra. Well, kind of. That's, well, that's one of the major plots, you know. Yeah. These are the basics of the study of planet life. 
I was just tapping his foot down there. I know. If the spirit energy is lost, our planet is destroyed. <laughs> spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako, Mako reactors Ooh, suck up hey. spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy gets compressed in the reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Uh-oh. You can tell there's some higher stakes here. Until he explained it to us, I didn't really understand what the effects were. Yeah, I think. You know, of, of the Mako reactors on the planet. Apparently, they suck up all the live stream and... They'll just end up destroying the place. If all the life stream is gone, then nothing else can be born, I guess. I don't nope. Know. The story of their planets and those who live with them. You want to know more? Then you must listen to the words of the elders. Elder Boogie. I don't know if I want to hear any more. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Dang, like I, I think said, I get the point. I'm happy you took the role of him because he's got a mouth. I know, My seriously. My God. I think this is the point, maybe, where we got to go back to the campfire. Yeah, I think the campfire might be coming up. That's another really big cutscene, too. Dang. The campfire, yeah. I think we should. we can get... You think we should keep Actually, it in this one? Maybe we're already up to like a half an yeah, hour. Yeah, I see point. the counter here. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I guess next episode we'll be learning more about the planet, live stream, and actually go into another. Yeah, we'll be actually area. doing something in Cosmo Canyon besides waxing philosophically with Bugenhagen, so. Yeah, alright. In the next episode, actually, we're going to have a pretty cool boss fight, if I remember correctly. Yep, and it has to do with the super glued door to your clouds left. Yep, there we go. Alright, so next episode, we're going to go probably finish. Cosmo Canyon and move along with the game and just, I guess that'll be the end of the episode here, so I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 7 and I will see you guys next time. Yep, see you next time.